Hi, I'm Doug Coughlin. Welcome to my garage. I'm standing here with my homemade CNC router behind me on my right and a Dyna 2400 retrofit mill on my left. Both of these routers are controlled using BuildBotics CNC controllers. I access gain access to the building BuildBotic CNC controllers via an Ethernet local area network. So I have a desktop computer which is connected through an Ethernet cable to this network switch, as is this controller connected through a cable, Ethernet cable, and that connect controller is connected through an Ethernet cable. And finally, there is an Ethernet cable that goes across my garage floor and I cut a hole in the wall and it hooks up to a wireless uh, bridge in, on the inside my house. So it's, it's the the thing works great and it's a really nice setup. But all of these Ethernet cables are getting a little bit annoying. It turns out that the BuildBotic CNC controller has built into it a wireless a Wi-Fi adapter, and it comes with the product. So today, my plan is to get rid of all of these cables and get rid of this switch, pull the cable back out out of, from my house and go completely wireless. So let's see how it goes. I'll start by updating the desktop computer. I've removed the ethernet cable. It doesn't have a Wi-Fi adapter, so I added one. Now I'll uh, connect to the wireless network. Is it connecting? Okay, and sure enough, it's up and I'm once again talking to both of the uh, CNC controllers. Now I'll configure the controller, the BuildBotics controller for the homemade machine to communicate over the wireless network simply by signing it as a client Put in the network name. And the network password. Set. And that controller is now rebooting. While that's going, I'll configure the Dyna doing exactly the same thing. The Dyna controller is now rebooting. Uh, the homemade controller is back up, and sure enough, there it is, and it's even show, even showing video. The next thing we'll do is disconnect all the cables. The cables and network switch have now been removed, including the cable that goes uh, from the network switch back to my inside my house. So everything is com communicating on Wi-Fi. Things are a lot neater around here, and I can now move these machines wherever I want. You might ask what to do if you don't happen to have a wireless router. Well, the BuildBotics controller has you covered there as well. You can simply configure the, the controller as a wireless access point and then assign a channel, give it a network name. In this case, we'll name it BuildBotics. 
caps. And give it a password. Whatever, I'll give it the robotics again. And click set. Once you do that, the build bodies controller becomes a wireless access point, and then you can point your desktop computer at the controller. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more information, join the Buildbotics forum at forum.buildbotics.com. To learn more about the Buildbotics CNC controller, go to www.buildbotics.com. To purchase a Buildbotics CNC controller, go to store.buildbotics.com. Thank you.